assembly procedure. Place and fit the boosting piston. Now place wiring and skid ring. Place and fit the lock nut. Position and fit snap ring. Now take valve body and fit snap ring. Place the pressure ring. Now place the O-ring. Apply silicon grease before assembly of seals and O-rings. Place the pressure ring and O-ring. Now place the wiring and O-ring. Position and connect power cylinder and valve body by using bolts. Place and fit abnormity circle. Place and fit snap ring. Place and tighten hollow bolt. Now place copper gasket. And T connection. Now place the copper gasket. Place and tighten lock bolt. Position and tighten the air vent screw. Now place the air vent screw cap on air vent screw. Place and fit spring seat. Place relay piston along with full ring. Place baffle seat along with full ring. Place and fit spring seat. Now place the valve seat. Place the return spring. And side valve spring. Place the exhaust port cover and exhaust port. And tighten the bolts. Position and fit spring. Now place the boosting piston assembly. Place cylinder head gasket. Place cylinder head and dust cover. Do not lift booster from push rod end. Always grip on body on lifting booster assembly. Place and tighten the screw of cylinder head assembly. Place and tighten the lock nut. Place and tighten the yoke. Fitment of clutch booster on vehicle. Ensure the clutch push rod is assembled to the clutch fork without any misalignment. Position the clutch booster and tighten the mounting bolts. Connect the pipings of clutch booster. Connect booster to clutch release fork and position split pin. Filling of clutch fluid and air bleeding. Open the oil filling cap from reservoir. 
Use genuine clutch fluid. Keep the reservoir tank filled with clutch fluid to the max level. Remove the air vent screw cap. Connect vinyl hose to air vent screw and submerge the other end of tube and jar with some hydraulic fluid. Slowly depress the clutch pedal. With the pedal to press, loosen the air vent screw to discharge the clutch fluid in which air is trapped. Tighten the air vent screw and slowly release the pedal. Top up clutch reservoir and repeat the process until no bubble appear in the fluid section. Measurement of wear indicator. Washer pushed along with rod until body of wear indicator position zero. If found beyond. Clutch pedal height adjustment. Loosen the lock nut of master cylinder head. And slightly rise the pedal. Now measure all the parameters of clutch pedal. If needed again loose the lock nut. And down the clutch pedal. Check parameters of clutch pedal again. Repeat the process to specified value is required.